Dozens of companies publicly urged the Senate to pass the Sweeping for the People Act to strengthen voting rights in an open letter before the chamber votes on the legislation this week. The latest instance of corporate America controversially wading into the national debate over voting rights. Though the bill is almost certain to fail as Republicans remain opposed. We call upon our colleagues in corporate America to join us in taking a nonpartisan stand for a democracy that is inclusive of all Americans, and we stand united with the American people to reimagine democracy for all. The open letter reads, urging the Senate to follow the House and do its part to protect our democracy. Together, we can ensure our employees and communities can safely and freely cast their ballots so every voice is heard and our elections reflect the will of the people. The Senate is expected to put the For the People Act up for a vote potentially as soon as Tuesday, after the House previously passed the Voting Rights Act in a 220-210 vote in March. But the voting rights legislation will almost certainly fail to garner the 60 votes it needs to pass. Republicans remain staunchly opposed to the bill, which Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, our key, has decried as a, a solution in search of a problem, and moderate Senator Joe Manchin, D.W. V. said he will not vote to eliminate the filibuster, which would result in the bill only needing a simple majority to pass. Manchin has also said he is opposed to the bill in its present form, arguing in a recent op-ed it is partisan voting legislation that will destroy the already weakening binds of our democracy. The West Virginia Democrat has proposed changes to the bill in order to potentially forge more of a compromise with Republicans, including adding voter identification requirements or allowable alternatives, but the GOP has signaled it would still oppose the bill even with those changes. McConnell said the bill would retain its rotten core, even with Manchin's suggestions, and Minority Whip John Thune, R.S. D. said the For the People Act is a piece of legislation that needs to die, and die quickly. While the Senate is unlikely to pass the For the People Act, other voting rights legislation could have a better chance, particularly the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, which would require states that have a history of suppressive voting measures to get federal authorization before changing their voting rules. Manchin and Senator Lisa Murkowski, our Alaska, have voiced their support for that legislation, suggesting it has more potential for a bipartisan vote than the more sweeping For the People Act. The company's letter is the latest instance of corporate America speaking out in favor of voting rights, as battleground states across the country including Georgia, Florida and Arizona pass new voting restrictions.